Mark is still here. This is this is real. This is his. Mm -hmm. It's about 36 degrees out. We're already freezing. And all throughout winter, like last time. It's wild. You said you were gonna do it too. Yeah, I know, but I'm staying here all night. <laughs> I'm just here in the shorts. <laughs> I mean, I left a while back when it when it was like a low of 37. No, I did too, and I was wearing shorts that day, and I heavily regretted it. But it's gonna be 20s. The audio was actually really. Mm -hmm. Damn, the audio. It's supposed to snow. Tomorrow we're supposed to get like 68 inches. Break it out. Break out the four wheel drive. Break out the road salt. Yeah, right. Exciting. I mean, I don't. I think the only time you really need to use four wheel drive is if you get stuck. I usually never use it. Really? Yeah. We also have I, I think it's all about yeah, it's all about tires. I I was running bad tires for a long time. It's not good. And it was snowing the day that you had your little mishap. But yeah, but now we got the good tires. It's a halfway between um halfway between mud terrains and all terrains and they're Toyos, which are like what all the Jeep enthusiasts use for like hardcore off-road and all that. People say they get extreme amount of miles. Dude, the PSIs and all tires have been the same since like I put them on. Like they haven't, none of them have dropped or altered or anything. It's ridiculous, dude. They're such good quality. Like that, that right there shows. Apparently people get like 50, 60,000 miles out of them. It's That's ridiculous, good. but they're more, they're like the most expensive. So you, you pay, sense. you get what you pay for. I got five of them too, a full size spare, full uh, a wheel that matches those and the full size spare tire. So it was expensive. It was like fourteen hundred bucks. <laughs> Most expensive purchase of last year. All right, well, time to go get some coffee and do some homework. Well, what I forgot to say was congratulations. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Newborn child. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's, uh, it's my stepson. <laughs> I didn't own it since it was born, so. Damn. <laughs> but lo but you love the truck just as much. Ninety-five percent. Dang. <laughs> What's that? Gotta get some tow mirrors. One of these days. There's a couple more steps in between that. Though. Volvo tow mirrors, Ranger tow mirrors, Montero tow mirrors. I didn't have tow mirrors on any of them. Get a tow mirrors on your bike. Ford Focus, tow That's mirrors. The most useful. The bicycle <laughs> you got a cheat sheet. Ready? Yeah, I don't know if my hand's on the mic or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see anything right now, but we were heading back and about to get back on the road, but I just gotta grab something to eat. And uh, you know, pack everything up, get the bike. What's going on? <laughs> Alright, well think about this. If you if you sell me the truck. You'll one, be able to see it all the time. For Why two, the... I'm going to restore it and everything back of the bump. Three, probably tint the wind and make it four, you know, Moser 3.0, 4.0, 5.0 type of deal. And five, maybe I'll possibly even be able to sell it back to you eventually. But look at seven, eight, nine, and ten, which are on the other side of the spectrum. If you get, get if you sell it to somebody else, then you'll never see it again. It'll be gone, a part of your soul we shattered think about heart artery transplant type of deal you'll never see it again your life will be over but the other side is is that you'll be able to see it once again all right is for, that is that your uh for restoration your spiel you heard me he just said that he's always been the guy that drove a truck and i i brought this up to you the last time and you weren't you were just agreeing say yeah whatever i literally felt like 
you're, you driving a car in a truck made no difference to you. Well, I don't mind driving a car, but I do enjoy driving. And now Will just got his truck and yeah. you can't do this to us. Think about it. It's everybody. It's Will full size, Sam full size. Logan's got the the closest thing to a full size mid-size. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a, a V8. It has a V8, so that's close. Yeah, and then Jordan should be driving a truck and me driving a truck and everybody, all our friends here with us right now driving trucks. So there you go. Do you mean the people watching? They're with us right now. Hurts. Guys, hold on. So we're about to head out now to the mountain and it's pretty crazy because it's like 30 degrees outside. Miles and miles in the barren wasteland. We did this probably many months ago when I made that video. I think it was called Secret Stuff Here, Secret Truck Stuff Having Here in Pennsylvania. I don't know, I don't watch your shit. That's the video that you said at the by the dumpster. You got to make more videos, more about other stuff. Yeah. It can't just be true. That was the video, and then we head up the mountain. I'm thinking that the game plan this time is, is to park where we parked before, where they said to park or the original spot, and then walk down. Because I feel like that. Damn it. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. I think that that parking lot, whenever we go up the trail from there, it loops around and takes longer. I think maybe if we park at that lot that we were at or the regular one and then walk down and then around the normal route, it might be quicker. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Because it seemed like it just took a lot longer. But yeah, it's going to be many, many miles trekking. I'm going to try to film what I can, but it's going to be obviously it's already dark and it's 30 some degrees, like I said before, but maniac alert. Sage and rosemary rice, Himalayan grain. Because Himalaya got the best motherfucking grains. Alright, we're heading the road here. Got a while until we get to the middle of nothing. Power stroke in front of us. seriousness probably cutting that part out but in all seriousness um mike got there and just got a little bit too chilly for him so we decided to turn back came all the way back to his place and now we're getting the grand old two-wheeler apparatus out freezing cold temperatures so we're all geared up got the water and the food and all the, the granola bar and the uh Ready now? It's gonna be cold, my ass. <laughs> Dude, come on now. It's freaking so cold right now. Is this the way? Well, it looks cooler this way. Well, we may be on the bikes, but we did find a secluded trail once again, so we're going to continue on this Dude, and this see. this is the kind of shit, like, I don't know how I get roped into doing this, but this is some, like, shit we were doing in high school. We're fucking, like, 21 years old, and we're like, Dude, let's just go, like, bike real fucking late at night on a dark trail, of, like, in the fucking cold, away from everybody. And I'm, like, thinking to myself, why the fuck am I doing this? What's going on guys here um we're out here if you can see anything at all just shine over there for like two seconds we are in the middle of like miles of farmland